Hey everyone, so I'm working on an 11 by 14 canvas. I was so in love with that 12 by 16 that I have to do another one with what paints I have left over. I got like a tiny bit of white left. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour some paints in this cup and just do a quick flip cup. So I'm going to put Nate's Stormy Weather in there. And these are the Parage Posse paints. We'll see how well we can get paint in this cup. We're going to have probably a lot more black in this one than the last one. But that silver and that moody blue just amazed me how well they played together. Now this one, the moody blue that I'm pouring in right now and Nate's Stormy Weather which is a lighter version really play well together um, because of that paint's gray. And those two have silicone and this, these two do not. Let's see what happens when we uh, flip a cup. Just want to use these up. I don't want to waste any of this paint. <laughs> it's so expensive. That PBO pouring medium is so expensive. So I um, got a great deal at the Art in the Carolinas show. So I thought I'm going to try it. Um, I've gone through a gallon already of different projects that I've been working on. And I'm just in love with it. So hopefully um, it will go on sale so I can restock a little bit. So I've run out of rack room. All my racks are completely full. So this will have to go into my resin coffin because I don't have anywhere else to put paintings. I'm trying so hard to get things done. Um, we have the auction and Christmas is coming and it's just crazy, isn't it? This time of year is just crazy. So, with that being said, we will get all caught up out here and enjoy the holiday. enough paint. So, I don't want to throw any other colors in there, but let's see if we can stretch it. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this cup over. Hopefully we have enough paint. I'm so glad when I empty the containers like that because it's just so much better than chucking paint into the jug that we save paint in. See what we got. I'm not going to run the lip through. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to let it set. I'm not going to torch it before I stretch because I want you to see the magic appear. <laughs> well, after 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay, let's stretch her out. Let's see if we have enough. We should be okay. It just amazes me how far you can stretch this and not get any zigzagging going on. But I did um, several paintings today using up these paints. I think I mixed up 16 cups of color just to do some vases and some candy dishes and I sat here and looked at all these cups still with lots of paint and said videos <laughs> so I'll be ahead of the ball game right I'm 
My husband has not come out here to bug me, so he must be good. Usually I get a peek at least. All right, I got her over all the edges. Yay. And I'm gonna bring that band of silver down. We already have a few cells popping. But this is the thing with the PBO. You might get a few. They don't come out till you torch. <laughs> so watch this. All I'm doing is warming that paint up. And when that allows that one drop of silicone to come up, it's just crazy. So this painting doesn't have a lot of white in it, which is good, because I didn't really want a lot of white. So let's let that set for 10 minutes. And let's see what happens. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm really excited. <laughs> The silver in there did some really cool stuff. It's like dimensional. It's really pretty. I'm really hoping that it doesn't change too much. I mean, it really blew up a little bit, but I love that depth of that silver. It's just surrounding with the black. There she is. So, of course, that gunmetal metallic that's in um, our moody blue is also playing a part of that. And I'm getting that little zebra leopard look there. Not zebra, leopard. <laughs> but these are our paints, the Parage Posse paints. This is our moody blue shimmer, and that is the darker blue that I used. Um, if you're interested in getting our paints, just email me at christinawalchart at yahoo.com. Or you can join our group on Facebook, the Paraj Posse. Um, all the information is there. And I'm more than willing to um, send you all the information and pictures so you can see the colors uh, via email. So I'm going to leave this one the way it is. Um, I think it'll probably get a few more cells. I'm really hoping that we don't lose the structure of the cells we have. We have some big poofy things there that... Um, may grow a little bigger, but I really like these with the black and Nate's um, stormy weather coming up through there. But not a lot of runoff. We did great. Um, I think on my next video I'm going to put some silicone in a couple of other colors and see if I can do a box top. But thanks so much for watching guys. Check out all the links below. Uh, check out my Amazon shop for the PBO Pouring Medium. Um, also, Jerry's Artorama. Link is below if you want to check it out there. Um, I bought it by the gallon. It's very expensive. It's over 80 bucks. So, um, until we can get a sale on that, that's what it's going to be. It's it, And it's more expensive on Amazon, too. But if you just want to try it, I didn't put anything in the paint except the PBO and got it to a really nice consistency and I can show you this these paintings dry super fast um, they don't crack though but they do dry fast on my paintings that I did earlier today and all the edges are already dry so dries very fast it still needs a cure time don't think because it's dry that you can go ahead and varnish it but you know wait at least two to three weeks before you varnish because the canvas underneath has to dry and the ammonias from the paints need to um, disperse. But other than that, thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next one. Bye now.